one more. What's going on? <laughs> What's happened? This is terrifying. We've been here before. Oh, my God, that sounds scary. One of them took me into the basement. They've been on the show before. Have they? They get all three of them individually. We have come from a time where there is no magic. A time when childlike wonder and the feeling of magic has been destroyed through technology. And without magic, the world's crumbling. It's turned to nothing. It's just turned to fog. And as hard as it might be to believe that we've somehow traveled in time, we can provide you with some kind of proof. If I were to ask you to choose, for example, one of these cards, I can tell you that I know that you will choose the Four of Clubs. And I know that you'll choose the Two of Hearts. And I know that because we've been here before and we've already seen this happen. So would you touch any card you'd like? Just touch one, yes. Take it out, good. And Alicia, would you touch one as well? Just take one out. And I know, even though all the cards are totally different, I've seen it happen already. I know that you have, Bruno, the Four of Clubs. Have a look. Um, what? And I know that you have the two of hearts. Wow. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Amanda. Yes? Can you dry out the teacup for me and place it back down? Perfect. You just do the saucer as well for me. Perfect. We're going to place the saucer on top of the cup. Hold your hands out now. I want you to take hold of this. Hold it up really high. Now, for us to travel through time, to travel through a portal, we actually turn to dust. But when we manipulate time, we damage the very fabric of reality. Everything is slipping through our fingers and the world is turning to fog. Things aren't where they're supposed to be. Look inside the cup. Oh my gosh. That sand is in the cup. Oh my God. Well, sometime in the future, we found a journal as we started to study the journal, we noticed that every page contains a different theory about time travel. Bruno, hold your finger out like this. I'm going to riffle down the pages, and I want you just to put your finger in one of these pages. Right now, this one. Yeah. OK. Page 73. This is how to travel into someone's memory. This page describes to us how that feeling that you sometimes get in the back of your head, that you might have seen something before, it's more than just a feeling. It's actually there to provide you with proof that you really are reliving something. While he does that, Alicia, Amanda, I would love you both to examine these dice. Just roll them gently a few times on the desk. Just make sure they're regular, real dice that they roll on different numbers. Would you kindly roll that into the bowl? And let's see, you have rolled the number four. Amanda, would you do the same thing, please? Would you please roll into the bowl as well? A six. Perfect. Four and six. Oh, my God. As we start to play with and collapse time and space, it's sometimes hard to tell if we are on the outside of the hourglass and looking in. Or if maybe we might really be on the inside and we're looking out. From the past to the present and the present to the future, magic can only be protected by those who possess the ability for childlike wonder. And those who can take that feeling and carry it into the future. Good to see you, Ben. Bang on time, Colin, Elizabeth. Feels like 2024. 
Simon, can I just say, you are looking amazing. You are Bruno. <laughs> Good to see you, Bruno. My name's Aiden. Sometimes the things that feel like they're happening spontaneously in the present have actually been written into our lives far in the past. The numbers you all chose earlier couldn't have been more random, yeah? But long, long before tonight's show, Ben had seen them, and he knew these numbers would be the only thing that proves time travel is real. So he wrote them down in a place where they could never get lost and never be altered. Random numbers chosen in this very moment. Four and a two from a deck of cards. A random book open to page 73. And of course, two dice roll to the numbers four and six. Numbers hidden by the passage of time and now proof that that feeling at the back of Ben's head is more than just a feeling. You got this, Aiden. What? There's one more thing that we need to share with you. Nothing is as it seems. Simon, it's time. Oh, what? Shave his head up. Why does it always end up being Simon? Would you stand up and come with me? You're completely safe, I promise, okay? Oh, no. Sir, then put a blindfold on you, but you are safe, okay? Oh my god. Nothing is as it seems. What is Simon? Where is Simon? I'm scared. Nothing is as it seems. Hello? Hello? Where am I? <laughs> 